everyone. Welcome to the press conference. We start tonight with the Charlottetown, Charlottetown Islanders head coach Jim Moulton. Uh, Jason Malloy, the floor is yours. Jason? Someone else, Stefan Lavou, maybe. Yeah. Guys, yeah, Stefan, Jason, Zachary, maybe. I don't know. Yes, I, I will start. Uh, so, hi, Jim. Uh, hi, how would you uh, how would you react for your team tonight? Uh, a tough loss, but you come back at the end of the of the game. So, what do you expect from the game? Well, it's a heavyweight battle. I mean, I think if uh, we thought it was going to be easy to wrap this series up on either side, uh, I think we were gravely mistaken. We knew it was going to be a battle. Um, got away from us a little bit there in the second, but I like the growth in our team. From uh, you just look at the series in game two, uh, we didn't much push back. Here, we stuck with it, and I, I thought. Uh, we learned a little bit of lesson internally. You could see it in the in the eyes of the players and their approach to the third period. I mean, they, they understand the urgency level. And this is what this series has been a little strange, where it's been back and forth uh, with the urgency levels, and probably fitting that it's going to five and it's going to be uh, you know a hell of a battle. I mean, I thought I was proud of the fact that we stuck with it tonight. You know, obviously there were some areas that we're going to have to clean up and clean up quickly heading into Tuesday, but I think they're probably saying the same thing. You have only won 25% of your face-off tonight. What can you tell me about the, this aspect of the game? Well, that's a, that's one of the little uh, coaching indicators when a team's uh, intensity level is high enough or not high enough. And You know, the two games we won, if you look at the face-off totals, they're tipped in our favor considerably. The two games we lost, it goes to victims. And that's what I kind of meant about this series. has been a little bit strange with uh, the urgency level, intensity levels. Um, it's not a conscious decision in the players' parts, but that's one of the battle zones. If you win the majority of your small area battles, the 50-50 zones, which a face-off is one, then you're, you're going to win the game. So we're going to have to be a heck of a lot better there, and uh, there's nowhere to go but up. Final question. Um, your power play has produced uh, two times uh, tonight. Uh, okay, what can you tell me about the distance we have Well, I wish they'd be a lot more on discipline Tuesday night and get us on the power play more often. But no, I mean, our power play has been really good. I, I think... Uh, our challenge is uh, we've been struggling to create much five on five and that's what it's going to be and, and that's playoff hockey I, I think we have to grind the puck a little bit more down in their zone and force them into that and the power play is great that's that's fantastic but you can't rely on just one aspect of your game uh, especially going into an elimination game Stefan or Jason are you back with us I am yes Jim, uh, we talked earlier about you know the importance of having to match and exceed the urgency of Victoriaville. Do you feel that your team did that here tonight? Uh, at times, I, again, didn't mind our start. I just thought, uh, you know, to me, the turning point in the game is the third goal. It's two one. We're okay in the first. The first was alright. A little bit spotty, a little bit choppy, um, but I thought we were coming, and, and I thought we got ourselves settled down, but. All of a sudden, you know, we force a puck into the middle and put it on the ends up on Bocage's stick, and he's not going to miss. He's a 40-goal scorer for a reason. And then we sagged for a little bit. It took us a while to get the momentum back, and before we could, you know, then we started forcing plays, which led to more turnovers. And fortunately, we got ourselves straightened around in the third, but we ran out of racetrack. Can you take my shot of, you know, that the way that you, you didn't give up and, and uh, made it a 5-4 game when it was, a, you know, 5-1 going into that third? Well, yeah, absolutely. It uh, tells me we're in for a long haul in battle, and, and, and I mean we've been we've been down this road before. I mean, last time we were at this round, we went to uh, Game Seven against Blainville. You know, we we had to score an overtime to to push it to Game Seven. So that's what it's all about this time of the year. I mean, I, I think we've had such a easy ride all year that we forget uh, winning is hard. <laughs> and there's a lot that goes into it, and, and the other team has a say in it too. And so you got two teams that are battling out here, and it's fitting that it's going to Game Five because there's not a lot of difference between the two clubs. No, no team has been able to carry the momentum from one game to the next. Uh, it's been back and forth. That holds you, you win, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we hope that uh, continues. But, it, you know, it's a, it's a cliched adage at this time of the year, but your best guys got to be your best guys. And in their wins, they have been. And our wins, you know, we need some guys who need to step up a little bit more. And uh, 
all hands on deck. And, and if you're going to get to the finals in any league, you, uh, you got to have your top performers rolling. So I thought we started to see some life from some guys that have been a little bit quiet there in the third. So a lot of a lot of good signs to build on, in particular from that third period. Just with those top guys, you, the effort the effort being is the effort there, or are you just you're thinking that they might be pressing too much to try to do too much? It's a it, yeah, it's a little. I don't think it's ever the effort issue. I think the, they're just pushing. And there's a lot of attention paid. There's there's not a lot of room out there. I mean, you look at the the shot totals um, are very very low compared to a lot of junior hockey games because both teams are really committed away from the puck. Uh, both teams are really committed to clogging up the neutral zones. Both teams do a really good job of you know cutting down the neutral zones. So it's hard for some of the speed skill guys to get loose in the manner that they're accustomed to scoring. Thank you very much. Best luck on Tuesday. Thanks, Jay. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Talk to DJ, everybody's with us.